So far, we've talked about an elevated source that travels and spreads out downwind. We haven't talked about what happens at the ground. We've acted as if there is no ground. The ground dampens vertical dispersion, the turbulent motion. And so there's no more vertical spreading at the ground level. It can't keep going below the ground. And so we have this situation where we have our stack and we have our plume going downwind, but what happens here at the ground? What happens to this stuff? It can't really go below the ground. So we have this extra, which actually ends up getting essentially reflected off the ground. It's not really like it bounces off the ground, but there's the, the vertical mixing slows down near the ground, and so it kind of builds up near the ground. but we can treat it like it's reflected. And so it adds to the concentration in this area close to the ground. The way we handle this is called the method of images. Where we add an extra term in our Gaussian plume equation from a source at z equals minus h to provide reflection from the ground. It looks like this. Here's our ground. Here's our main stack, the real one, and it's at some elevation plus h above the ground. We have our plume, which goes like that, if our wind direction is going from left to right. And so we add this imaginary source at height minus h where its plume looks like this. And we don't really care what's happening with the part of it that's below the ground. But above the ground, let me draw that in orange, it's going to add, the orange is going to add to the red that's already there. This brings us to the equation for an elevated source with reflection. And this is the form of the equation that we will typically use. It is C, the concentration at some point in space, is equal to Q, the emission rate, over 2 pi U, the wind speed, sigma Y, sigma Z, times the exponential of minus Y squared over 2 sigma Y squared to handle spreading in the Y direction side to side, times the exponential of minus Z minus H squared over 2 sigma z squared. That's the term above the ground. And now we're going to add the term below the ground, which is, looks the same, but it's the exponential of minus z plus h squared divided by 2 sigma z squared and curly brace. Now there are several important assumptions that go into the derivation of this equation and thus its application. First is that we're at steady state. Where we have some kind of constant emission and constant meteorological conditions. Uh, importantly is that we have a constant wind velocity u um, and that and direction, really. We also think that, um, we also assume that the, the wind causes much more movement or transport than dispersion in the x direction. X is downwind, so we're saying that the actual wind advection carrying the pollutant is much more important than any uh, kind of back and forth movement 
along the x-axis. And you can see that because there's no sigma x in our equation. And fourth, there's no reactions or other loss or gain of our pollutant.